Executive producer Matt Reeves and Warner Brothers are here with their first teaser trailer for this Penguin series starring Colin Farrell reprising his role from the Batman. I'm going to take a look at this trailer next. Happy Friday, everybody, and welcome to this trailer reaction here on the Outlaw Nation. I am the Outlaw John Roca. Thanks so much for clicking play on this reaction. And I'm excited to be diving in to take a look at this first teaser trailer for The Penguin. This series picking up right after the end of the events of The Batman. There's a vacuum in the criminal underworld. And Oswald Cobblepot, the legendary character from the Batman comics, is going to be sliding in here to take over the Gotham underworld. And it is, of course, Colin Farrell reprising his role as The Penguin, which I was pretty pretty shocked about. Uh, they announced the series. I didn't think it was really going to happen. It was fun. The Afterglow. Sure, I'll do a series. But no, it, it's actually happening. And we got a teaser trailer here that we're going to take a look at in just a second. This one, of course, from executive producer Matt Reeves, who did The Batman. And it is show run by Lauren LaFranc, who show ran, or was a supervising producer there on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And the cast here includes Christina Milioti. Uh, we got Clancy Brown, which I'm excited to see be a part of this as well. Michael Kelly, Shora Gadashlu, Carmen Ajoga, Francois Chow and David H. Holmes amongst other actors in this series. So I'm very curious where we're going to get. This is an eight episode series. What are we going to get teased in this trailer? Some more of the story, some more of the action. So let's not waste any time. Let's take a look at this first teaser trailer uh, for The Penguin here from Warner Brothers and Matt Reeves. Ooh, there's... When I was a kid, there was a gangster, real old school type, Rex Calabrese. He was a big deal. He helped people. He saw you on the street, he call out to you. Oh, nice. When I'm 14 or something, oh, Jesus. he has a heart attack and dies. Still holding a cigar. <laughs> <laughs> in my neighborhood, they throw a parade in his honor. A freaking parade. Jesus, feel the menace. It was a fancy, but it was a gesture. It was a gesture. To show love. <clears throat> oh, what he meant. Can you imagine to be remembered like that? Wow. <laughs> okay, well, that went fast. That went fast. Uh, okay, well, there you go. About a minute and a half, a minute 20 seconds of a glimpse into what we're going to get from this eight-episode series. And this one is coming out a little bit later on uh, this year, as we saw. So um, I am very curious uh, to see what more we're going to get in a full trailer here uh, for this series. So I, I'm just, like, stunned at what we got in this minute and a half. Clearly... This is, some people have compared us to The Sopranos. This is even darker than The Sopranos. Look, Sopranos are dark, killing people, over but you always had those little jokes or whatever. There's no humor in this uh, trailer at all. What you've got is a guy who is embracing the possibility of sliding into a position of power and being beloved in his community or in his neighborhood for his actions and for what he's going to do. Talking about that gangster uh, that he knew when he was a kid and had died and they threw a parade for him. So clearly this is a guy who kind of sees the old school nobility, uh, it, misguided as it may be, of these mafia guys back in the old days, back from the old country, you know? So you sense that vibe here throughout this trailer, but then we see these little clips throughout of some violent moments. Is he stabbing someone with a knife? Is he killing somebody, electrocuting somebody? Who's that on the table there? Uh, who's a, a, a possibly, possibly a prisoner there in orange jumpsuit? What's that all about? Who is he torturing? Why is Christina Milioti screaming like crazy? Clancy Brown there, a shot of him in prison there talking to Oswald Cobblepot. And what more are we gonna get here but uh, from the series as, as we get more trailers, but clearly it's focusing on his rise to power and all the devastation and um, harm he is going to cause in order to get to that position. Look, 
He is already my favorite penguin. I know y'all love Danny DeVito. Y'all love um, Robin Michael Lord. I think his name is who played it in in Gotham uh, uh, and other places, other penguins, Burgess Meredith. But for me, this is the penguin that has been the more modernized version that we've seen in Arkham Asylum and other places and in the comics. I like this version of the penguin. I like kind of going this route with him. It gives it more weight, more gravitas for the overall story that Matt Reeves is telling about the world of the Batman from that first movie. So I love this. This looks damn good. Uh, it looks like we're in the right hands and this is going to be a lot more brutal than people think. And this is the secret key to DC. They can be more brutal with their characters, with their stories, uh, with their overall um, storylines uh, and events and sequences and action stuff uh, because they tell more brutal stories consistently throughout their history in DC. So I like that we're going down this route with uh, with the series here uh, with the uh, Penguin. So what did you all think? Did you like this? Did it work for you? Did it get you excited? Uh, are you on board with this now? Did it make you even more excited to see what we're going to get? Do you like the vibe and the darker energy here coming through? Or did you want something a little bit funnier, a little bit lighter? Are you a little uh, trepidatious about this or cautiously optimistic about it? Let me know down in the comments section below. Hit a like on this video. Share it on your social media. And hey, more than anything else, please subscribe to the channel down below. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell button so you see we're dropping all the content we do here on the Outlaw Nation channel. Going to be real curious to see how people react to this one. So let me know what you think about it down there. Uh, and of course, don't forget about the Patreon. Patreon.com slash John Roca. That's the place you can go to uh, uh, see all the multiple tiers and the new benefits that are available for you all to join and be a part of the Patreon here and support us on the Outlaw Nation. All right, y'all take care of yourselves. Be well. Enjoy your Friday, and I'll talk to you next time with another brand new reaction video here on the Outlaw Nation.